Hi, welcome to All Brands After Hours with me, Courtney Dowdett. Welcome to the show where you should hang out and craft together. Today, we will be doing the five do's and don'ts of scan and cut. Let's do it. So the first do or don't is don't spend money on a ton of designs. You can, of course, buy any design that you want to put into your brother's skin and cut, but you don't have to buy a ton of designs. What I would do is I would just print off on regular computer paper any picture that I want, put it in my scan mat or on my low-tech mat, and then scan that into my machine. And then that way I can have any image under the sun that I want. I just print it out on regular computer paper. And did I have to pay anything to get the design? No, I didn't. I just had to print it out and then put it in my machine. My machine's automatically going to cut, turn it into a cut file for me or a draw file because she does draw and I didn't have to spend a ton of money. So it's definitely something to consider when you do get your machine that you no longer have to spend a ton of money on buying designs or looking for designs. Now you can just scan anything in under the sun and make anything you want. I mean, full birthday collections that look like they were a collection, but you just went and found something on, online. Um, you really kind of sky's the limit. I mean, anything you can think of, you can now scan it in and turn it in a cut file and cut it out of paper, fabric, and make appliques out of any design that you want. Um, it's kind of dangerous. Now, <laughs> there's no hold, bar, no hold back. We, we can really do anything that we can think of with our machine. This one I've said quite a lot. Don't throw out transfer tape. Make sure that you are putting your transfer tape back on its protective backing after you use it because you can continue to use it until it's no longer sticky. And that will save you money on having to buy a ton of transfer tape. So don't throw it away. Do put it back on its paper backing. It will make it last a lot longer and saves money. All right, the next one is don't just touch that blade that is in there. It is pretty sharp. I mean, it has to cut through a ton of material. So if you are changing your blade, don't just grab your blade. You're going to open up your blade right here and you're going to take the spatula that it came with. All machines, all scan and cuts come with this little spatula. If you flip it over, there's a little foam bit right there. You're going to put that foam bit into the blade that you're changing out, throw it away, take your new blade and pop it into there. And then you're going to screw back on that, that uh, little or part of the holder. And now you have a brand new blade. So don't touch the blade. Use the spatula that it came with, that little foamy bit on the back, to change out your blades. Protect your hands from a sharp blade. So don't touch the blade. Do use the spatula. So don't just take your mat and throw it away. When it loses its stickiness, we're going to clean our mats. We're gonna make sure we keep our protective cover on them at all times so nothing gets on our mat, nothing's making our mat dirtier than it needs to be. We are going to clean them with, totally awesome, and I've talked about it in a few different videos, um, just spray it down with your mat. Don't scrape hard, just push it around, wipe it off with a paper towel, and you're good to go. Let it dry, it'll bring all that stickiness back. Do not put your protective cover back on it until it's fully dry, and every once in a while you can just put your hands and see that it's uh, gotten stickier. So that's what I would recommend. So don't throw them out, do clean them and treat them well. To go along with that, another don't is I don't recommend folding your mat, bending your mat in any kind of fashion, the corners or anything do make sure that you are keeping them flat when you store them. Even if that is putting a command strip or some kind of hook on your wall and hanging it this way where it can lay flat on its own or laying them in a drawer. Like I have my Alex drawers that I leave them in, my Ikea Alex drawers, because they fit perfectly in there and they can lay flat on their own and there's no bending or, um, you know, rolling it up in any kind. Because if you accidentally do bend one of these corners and try to put it in your machine, your machine's gonna spit it out. You can bend it back and try to finagle it that way, but once it's seriously bent or kind of has, you know, any kind of mess ups on it, the machine's not gonna wanna read it as well. So make sure you leave them flat, protect your corners, everything like that, and you're storing them properly. I know a lot of times I throw them on the ground for the show, and that's funny, but there's nothing right here. So it's it's going on a flat uh, area. I like how you can see my machine right there. Other than that, there's nothing right here. But be careful with your mats. Um, they'll make them last longer if you treat them well. Make sure you're not bending corners. Make sure that you're not rolling them in any kind of fashion. They need to be laying flat so they can perfectly go into your machine. 
And lastly, our bonus one. Do not put paper on anything other than the slow tack blue mat or the scan mat. Those are the only ones that you're gonna wanna put paper on. So if you're scanning in or cutting out paper, you're going to want to use your blue low tack mat, um, or which is like this. Or if you're just scanning in something, you're gonna wanna use your scanning mat. Scanning mat has no stickiness to it, just flips on up. You put your paper in there to scan your image into your machine. And then your blue mat, you can use it for scanning or you can use it to cut out paper. So if I'm doing any paper, card stock or anything like that, I'm using my uh, blue mat to cut it out and I can use my scanning mat or my low tack mat to scan in. Which one do I prefer for scanning in is my scanning mat because there's no stickiness to it so there's no chance of it sticking to here. Um, and I don't wanna waste my sticky on just scanning something if I don't have to. I'm gonna put it on something like my fabric mat. If I put this paper to this mat, this paper is gonna get shredded in a billion pieces and it's going to make my mat mostly unusable until I get all that paper off. And it's gonna take me a while to get all that paper off. So no paper on any standard or fabric mat. I hope these do's and don'ts help. If you have any of your own do's and don'ts, please leave them in the comments below because we love reading them. It's a community, we're learning from each other and I, I adore this. Hello to all the new subscribers, oh my goodness. Uh, we're so glad to have you. We have created a wonderful crafting community. So we're happy to have you. It's, it's a great group. Thank you for everyone that's left a comment. I've really enjoyed reading your comments and answering your questions. Thank you to everyone that has liked. If you um, have any questions or anything like that, let me know if you guys would like me to do an All Brands After Hours Live, where you can ask me your questions live and I'll answer them live if that's something you guys would like. Um, please, please let me know. I have been reading the comments of people saying, I just bought my scan and cut from all brands. And that is just really cool that we have created even more people excited for crafting. And thank you for purchasing from all brands. We are a family owned and operated business. So I truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, I've rambled enough. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. We will be back next week with a fun video. Maybe we could start doing project videos again. I miss doing that. So we'll see you next week. Y'all have a great night. Bye.